Uh, good morning now there everybody. It's Josie. How are you? I hope you're having your morning coffee. Got my pillow. Want to give you some tips today on getting better sleep. Now, when you got this thing on your head, it's not easy to sleep in it. I got a news for you. In case you didn't catch that already. Oh, anyway. Here's some of my tips for you. First of all, as long as you need to, sleep in your cast. My doctor gave me the permission to take it off at night. And I said, no, I need this because I'm a rough sleeper. So wise decision. I slept with Herman for over three, almost three weeks. Slept on the couch. I think that's kind of obvious, you know, fluff up with pillows. Um, you've got a, got a recliner, sleep in a recliner, those kinds of things will help, of course. Um, but here's a couple of good ideas. You might not know of this little trick. This is a U-shaped pillow. Got it at the drugstore. I do believe it's called a, I forget what it's called, but it's a U-shaped pillow. I sleep with it with it behind my head like this and actually pull this up above me just like I'm doing almost like a uh, life preserver because it keeps my head stable. Unfortunately, you have to sleep on your back. I'm a side sleeper. That's what it's called. It's called a side sleeper. Side sleeper. But I sleep on my back so it helps keep my my head in position. And on those rare occasions when I would take a nap without Herman, certainly lay on the bed with my head in this contraption because it would prevent me from rolling over. So that's my first advice to you. If you can find this cool little trick called a side sleeper, it might help you sleep better. The last resort, and I don't like to mention this one, there are these wonderful things called muscle relaxers. I took them very sparingly and I would take a half of a pill and that would only give me the comfort of sleeping. Because um, you don't want to be addicted to these things. You do not want to abuse them. You want to be very careful how you use them. But I did find that, you know, taking a half of a pill would help me sleep through the night. Depending on, you know, your gender and your weight, you got to be careful. Um, I do work uh, in a pharmacy and I'm completely aware of how people can become addicted to prescription drugs. So I'm very careful how I take any kind of medication, including aspirin. And I advise any of you out there, especially in this situation, because you're going to feel tempted when you're in pain to take more pain medication, to take more muscle relaxers. Take it when you need it, but take it sparingly. And I hope those few little tips will give you a little get a good sleepy bite. And I know it's important to get, so Pleasant dreams to you. Bye-bye.